Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. I want to continue a series that I kind of started way back when but never really continued and that's where I come in and spend about two minutes to give you a quick and useful Fusion 360 tip and sort of sprinkle these in in between my bigger and more creative projects that I kind of, you know, takes me about two weeks to create and get out to you. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you may notice that some of these are repeats of what I've done in the past, but I do feel that the Fusion 360 interface has changed so much within the last couple of years that they are worth redoing. So for today's tip, I'm gonna show you how to export multiple bodies as one STL file. And I'm working on this articulating Christmas tree here. This is a design that's on Thingiverse called the Flexi Christmas Tree by Little Silver. It's a neat approach where you design an object with these print in place joints and you see it applied with a lot of different models. So in this case, we're applying it with a Christmas tree. But here's the thing, each of these bodies here are all separate bodies, right? And I can't combine them. If I try to combine them here, I'll do a section analysis here. You'll see that they are, they don't connect, right? They're kind of floating in between. That's what allows them to articulate. So because of that, if you try to do a modify combine and say, for example, I select this body and this body here, click OK, you know, nothing happens. So you end up with five different separate bodies here. And when you try to 3D print these, if you go to Tools, Make, 3D Print, you may try to select these individually and or hold Shift or try to like drag and select. You'll notice that you can't select multiple bodies. Um, so it seems like you're unable to do this, but however, it's, it's actually quite simple. It's just not intuitive. All you have to do is here, we'll go back to make 3D print. Instead of selecting it here or on the browser here, what you do is you just come up to the top where your name is. I haven't saved this yet, so it says unsafe, but once you save it, it'll have a name here. Click on it and it'll select the entire thing. And then you can either save the STL file by unchecking, send to 3D print utility, or if you check it, you can choose what slicer you want to send it to. I've got Prusa slicer here under my custom uh, slicer here. So if I click OK, you'll see that it'll open up Prusa. And there's my model right there, the full model. Um, so that's it. That's all there is to it. And I'll show you one more thing. Let's say that everything failed, but the base printed fine. So I just want to send those parts. Well, I can go back to make 3D print. If I just select everything here and then I just untoggle the visibility of the part I don't want to print. In this case, it's this body here. Now watch what happens. I'll click OK. And as long as that body is not visible, Let's go into Prusa Slicer and you see that now it sent the entire tree except for the base, the part that was not visible. So that's all there really is to it. Uh, you print the same way, you make 3D print and you just simply have to go up here and click on the top of your browser there and it'll select everything. If you don't wanna print a particular body, you just untoggle the visibility and that's how you can send multiple bodies as one STL file. All right, hit that like button if you enjoyed this tip and if you're looking to learn Fusion 360 in a more in-depth structured way, uh, check out my free getting started mini series that I have linked below.